like to apologize ahead of time for the shaky camera in the milling operations. I had this great idea that I would mount the camera on the mill table and I'm not going to do that again. This is a woodworking tool. If you were perhaps building a deck, you'd probably want to buy one of these to put in your electric drill because not only does it drill the hole for the board, but it also countersinks it for your screw head, which is really nice and handy for woodworking, but I have never seen one of these for metal. There might be some, I just haven't seen one. But I'm going to try to make one of these for metal. Now, the application would be if you have, uh, say, developed a metal bracket that you want to now screw to a wooden wall and say you're using number eight size screws which is very common size uh, you can design something that's going to work for these screws and hold your bracket now i've got something we'll go have a look at it just to show you what i'm talking about so up here we've got a little bracket that that holds a tool and you can see there are screws in here and they're set flush. They're not sticking out. So this is the kind of thing that I'd like to do where you would actually be drilling your 3 16 hole and putting in your countersink for it. We've got a 3 8 piece of water hardening drill rod is 2 inches long. I've taken a center drill, drilled a hole right through. Well, center drilled it and then drilled a hole right through with a 3 16 drill, twist drill. And now I've got my compound set at 45 degrees and as you can see we've just put a 45 degree angle on this. And a hole that goes all the way through so that we can slide a 3 16 drill into that hole. Now we've gonna, we're going to put it on the mill. We've got some milling to do to create the cutting surfaces for this. We've got our work in the mill now. We are going to pick up the top here, zero out on that, and then drop down half of the 3 8 distance, which would be 3 16 so we can be right on center. Now, as far as our X position goes, that's back and forth this way. I've got this line right here set up on the center line of my cutter, and I'm guessing at this. We're going to see how it works. It's going to feed in like so. just kind of broken through that might be enough I rotated the rotary table 120 degrees and we're going to come in and make another cut here come in the same amount as I did before. I'm not quite sure what that amount is. I'm just trying to get a cutting edge that's open. Just to take a look at uh, what we've got so far. Here's what we've got so far. And what we have to do now is, first of all, put some kind of a set screw in here so we're going to be able to hold that drill when it slides in. And then uh, I may put a hex on the back so it doesn't slip. And we will, of course, have to uh, heat treat it. We want it to be 
pretty hard down at this end where the, the cutting portion is. I've drilled and tapped an 832 hole in here for our set screw and it's about three quarters of an inch back from the cutting edge. I don't really want to go to the trouble of putting a hex on this thing until I know it's going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat treat just this very end here, the cutting end. That's all that really needs the heat treating anyway. And uh, see how it works. So let's get started with the heat treating. should be nice and hard here and still soft here soft enough to put that hex on if I want to I'll polish it up a little bit and make it look nice it's gotten kind of black I haven't put any relief on those cutting edges so I'm going to try this out first on a piece of aluminum and see how it goes if I need that relief I can grind it on <laughs> that and look at that we're right in there that works when I try it on the metal I might decide to put the relief on we'll see how that goes here comes a piece of metal we'll see how we do with that it's not quite level in there there we go We go flush again. I may still decide to put that relief on, but it's working like it is. 